All right, greetings. My name is Rob Minching, and this is the first Wix Online meeting. Hello. I wanted to get started to say hi for both uh, Bob and myself. We've been wanting to get together and do one of these kind of meetings for a very long time, and with a number of things that have come together, for example, uh, Fire Giant coming together and having enough infrastructure to host a meeting like this, we can get you know, us and our 200 favorite friends together to discuss what's going on in the Wix tool set, maybe on a weekly cadence. We're going to see that. So today, I'm going to start with the meeting guidelines, given that this is the first time we've done one of these, just some ground rules. Everybody kind of knows what to expect. I want to go over the release plan that we're looking at for the Wix tool set um, and the issue workflow. Those two things go together. Um, of course, with the issue workflow in place, then we'll go into triage. Uh, triage I will record as a separate call, so those people that want to just jump to that part to see what decisions we made on what bugs um, and features, they can do that. Um, in between, there'll be time for open discussion, things that, like that. I do want to try to keep this meeting to an hour, so hopefully we can uh, work through these first things, and then we'll get into triage and see how that goes. All right, so getting started. A few of the meeting guidelines. Um, number one, the audio is very important. Please keep yourself muted so that we don't have lots of people conflicting, talking over it, things like that. If you have questions, feel free to um, drop them in the uh, IM box over on the side, and we'll try to keep up with them and answer questions as we go, either during whatever we're presenting or at the end. Uh, this will get more interesting during triage if people have opinions. Um, if you have something that seems very pertinent that would be easier uh, for you to speak rather than type into the small IM box, I may unmute you so that you can come out, say what you need, and then we'll go back, which is kind of a juggling thing because trying to do lots of voice on uh, one single phone call can be extremely uh, difficult when everybody talks at the time. Uh, the next thing, these meetings are about Wix development. That's what we're focused on. We're not talking about uh, support, like how do you make this work in your particular product. This is about how do we make the Wix tool set work better for everybody. That's what we're talking about here. Um, in general, the meetings will go along this standard flow of first we'll do project status, discussion about what we're, uh, what we're going on in a high level, and then we'll do triage. So getting on to the release plan. The release plan right now, we have two lines in the Wix tool set. Uh, if you've been around for a while, you, you, you've seen these. We have what we call the 3x line, which is stable, and we have the 4x line that is unstable. In particular, we have a, the v38 branch, which is Wix tool set v38, that is active. That's where active development is going on, and you find that on the git branch Wix 3.8. We are creating this Wix 3x placeholder. So this is a place where we can put bugs that would go in to a release for a future release that is not 3.8. So if we think a bug should be fixed in the 3x line, it's not breaking change, those kinds of things, we will put it in 3x. On the unstable side, we have 4.0, where there is massive development and uh, any given build may not work completely uh, for a while while we get these initial very large changes going on. Um, breaking changes happen here and things like that. This is, And then the V4X is a placeholder where we can put future unstable work. So we will uh, take bugs that we think we could put into a future place or into a breaking change area and we'll uh, put those in the 4x placeholder. So a release is complete when all of the issues in that release are resolved, closed, gone, and everybody agrees um, uh, that we're in a good place. And we basically say it's been complete for some amount of time. So what we want to do is give people enough time to get through the builds, get through the releases, kind of get a feel for it, and maybe open that last bug that we didn't know. If we sit there for a time that we agree on, uh, whatever we decide escrow should be, that's we then declare it. So one of the big questions I know people have been asking is, when is uh, Wix v3.8 going to be released? And the answer is going to be when all of the Wix 3.8 bugs are resolved. And so that leads us into the uh, issue workflow that I'll do next. One thing I want to point out here is that um, Bob is going to be taking on the uh, primary ownership for the stable releases, and I am going to be leading the way for the unstable releases, So, uh, at least currently, uh, for Wix 4. So that means that my primary focus is going to be moving to Wix 4, and Bob is going to um, maintain the uh, shepherd the 3.8 and 3x releases as they go through uh, their life cycle. So what this means practically is that when we get down to tiebreakers, uh, Bob's vote 
votes higher for stable releases and my vote stays, uh, votes higher for unstable or something to that effect. We tend to agree or work our way through to it. And then, of course, we're looking for your input and more of you contributors become very active and then get your opinions and ideas on what we should be doing in these things so that we can make the best decisions for both of these releases, the stable and the unstable. So, obviously at the key of all this is making sure that all the issues get resolved, so how do we go about doing that? Um, so this is our new issue workflow. We have a new issue tracker up on wixtoolset.org. Uh, we've been dealing with the SourceForge um, tracker for a long time, and it never really quite fit the way that we wanted to do things, because we really want to make sure that the Wix toolset, for the stable releases in particular, is always very solid, and we have a, a very uh, solid engineering process so that companies large and small can depend on us, because we have a lot of people that expect us to be um, solid as, uh, as we go. So the way things work now is issues are created untriaged. That's a status. Uh, if you create a new bug, it is not open. It is marked untriaged. Triage, which is all of us here as we go through these weekly meetings, um, evaluates all of the bugs that are marked untriage. Um, from there, we can do a few things. One, we can open it, and in opening the bug, we then assign it to a release. So a person who, the creator of the bug that created untriage may assign it to a release that says, I think it should be in this thing, or I found it in this release. And then triage will decide, you know, that's a good bug, but to fix it, it's a breaking change. Therefore, we'll put it in the 4X release or the 4O release. Or, no, you're right, we nearly need to fix that now, so we'll put that in the active release, which would be 3.8 at this point, and, and so on and so forth. So we'll make those decisions as we go along. Um, triage may also resolve issues outright, which is, um, yeah, that bug is known, or yes, you're right, we get this quite often, yes, you're right, that does seem like a bug, but that's a Windows installer behavior, we don't control that, um, those kinds of things. Uh, we may also defer to not triage a bug yet, but that just means we're going to have to <laughs> evaluate it again. Uh, so we may have some people go off and say, you know what, let me go evaluate that bug a little bit. We'll try to open those most of the time, but maybe we'll just defer um, untriage bugs for next time. Or I think we have almost 800 bugs to go through the first time. We're not going to get through them all on the first day. All right, so once a bug is open, um, contributors, that is anybody that um, can do anything in the Wix tool set, uh, can take open issues. One of the things that you'll see um, and the uh, issue tracker is the ability to, if it is unassigned, you can now hit a button and take it. So you can basically say, I really want to work on that issue. I'd like to take it, something that we wish we always had in uh, the SourceForge issue tracker. Um, so now you can go and look at things that are an active release. Uh, so like if we open a bug in 3.8 and you're like, oh, I want to work on that, you can now go ahead and take it. If it's already assigned to an, uh, someone else, uh, triage can reassign it. Um, or you can ask that user to reassign it to you because they have it to you, but you can't take it away from somebody else. Hopefully that makes sense. So anyway, you work on issues in active releases. Um, at some point, the contributor will either fix the bug, will get the pull request through, and it will get submitted, which then the bug can be uh, resolved, or the bug can be understood, and we can decide, you know what, we're not going to fix that, or, oh, it's not actually an issue in the Wix tool set, or, no, that's actually the way it should work, um, and usually those turn into documentation bugs, uh, but uh, in the end, the bug gets resolved. Uh, and then we're in a good place because that bug no longer counts toward holding up the release. Um, issues may be marked untriaged again for reconsideration by triage. So the person that created the bug can, or any user can basically say this bug should be um, reevaluated. So you can go through and say, you know, please mark this for untriage so that it'll come back on the radar for triage. So you can see how that workflow then takes us back to the top where then we'll work our way through untriage issues. So essentially it gives an opportunity for people to say, triage said that we think it should be this. Someone can say, no, here's more information, and I think you should triage this again. We have that workflow. Going back to releases, ideally all of the work that we're doing in a release is tracked by an issue. So we're going to try to be much more diligent about feature requests and get, you know, for the type of work that we're doing in any given release, it'd be great if we had an issue tracking it so that people, one, know what's going on in a particular release, two, can see the status, and three, know when it's done. Again, going back to the, well, there are no more 3.8 bugs open, therefore the 3.8 release must be getting close to being done. And then you're just into that escrow period, which is much more of a discussion for us here. 
All right. So this is the issue workflow. Today we're going to go through that second step where triage evaluates untriaged issues a lot um, at the end of this meeting. And that is about all I have. And it was about where I wanted to get to was about the first 15 minutes to just kind of lay out our goals for these meetings. Uh, remember, we're going to be talking about the development of the Wix tool set, um, talk about our release plans and how we're going to have the stable line and the unstable line and bugs will be put into the active. That means they need to be fixed now-ish or into the placeholder, which means they'll be fixed in the next release. Does anybody have any questions or any comments right now? Um, because triage is next. Feel free to type in the IM. Um, I'll work my way through that. Um, and if it's silent for a little bit, then we will move our way over into triage. Uh, Bob just notified me that he has a power outage at his house, which is preventing him from um, getting into <laughs> the internet, as it may be. So we may we may be making some decisions in triage about Wix 3X and the Wix 3X line that he suggests we reconsider in the future. So at this point, I'm not seeing any questions. Excellent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the recording here, and we will move on to triage, which will be a separate recording.